we what can you tease about season two? Fillery. Uh, <laughs> a lot of fillery in season two. We're trying not to totally give away everyone's face. We can tell you, you'll see all the beautiful actors again, but we can't always tell you in what form. Mm -hmm. There's a sloth in season two that can talk. Um, just giving them everything. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What else? There's a centaur in season two. Uh, yeah, you'll see him again. Early enough. Rainar. You'll see him again. Mm -hmm. so hard. Um, I'd really rather just give you spoilers in Star Wars. I don't care about Star Wars. That's sad. <laughs> what's, well, I'm sorry, what's the process like collaborating on the story and adapting the book and what when and how things are going to unroll? What's that process like? Um, I tried to procrastinate a lot. That's a huge part of the whole thing. The first bond on procrastination. It's like as late as possible. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I think it's, it's, it's you, know, you start with like a, like a nugget of an idea, like a not fully formed, and you bounce it to a lab, and it's still about to me, and we'll talk to the writers about it, and it sort of forms almost like, um, it's probably not a good analogy, like a virus. It sort of starts out as this little thing and just keeps growing, it's like mutating. <laughs> really? <laughs> Some viruses are very good for the <laughs> This is one of those. Not even if they can take them to the <laughs> And with your, with your collaborating, what, you know, what kind of uh, compromises, I guess, did you have to do in, in order to make, you know, the book into a series? That's always a difficult thing, and I just want to know what that process was like. The thing I noticed most was stuff that you keep back in the novel, you know, you can just slow play in the novel, you can reveal stuff two-thirds of the way through, and three-quarters of the way through. TV doesn't work that way. Apparently. You really gotta front load all that information. The big reveal, like, you know, in the fourth act, doesn't really happen. Then the fourth act comes in the fourth act. Something else yeah. to reveal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Does each story really bad? Yeah. yeah. A TV each yeah. story. She's the amount of plot yeah. in the first season, but it kept me going through, you know, you know, Christian size nine novel cycles. But also, you would find these, like, one paragraph occasionally would just be inspire us to do an entire episode. I mean, I think it was one of paragraph, but, like, the whole section of the book where they finally turned to heat. You know, we loved that. And so we just took that, we didn't change the ending, but I mean, we just sort of dug down into the relationship to get to that ending. And I think I painful book. Brilliant. You know, but we were fortunate that we were also able to service other characters that weren't at Break Bill Sound in the book. So that suddenly could fill the world out more completely because there's more characters. And that's actually something I was really curious about. Break Bill South in the book has a lot of emotional stress for the characters, a lot of growth going on there, or at least potential growth yeah. later. And the series, it seems to me, is like a little breezy, but I was okay with that. But I'm kind of curious to see if you're going to just create different stresses, or are we going to be able to see Break Bill South maybe a little bit more, maybe in flashbacks or something that we can get to see? My. We will see Rachel Sound again next season. Yeah. So we're going to have 